What is this? This is for anxiety. Why you look anxious? Because I'm confused. Listen, mm -hmm. in my RAG use case, I need to talk and query both my SQL database and also honest structured free text. And when user asks mm -hmm. a question, I need to maybe query both or one of them or both of them and merge together for entering an answer there without necessarily creating separate RAG agents. And I need to figure out how to have one simple solution to have both sources in my use case. And I don't know how to That's do it. That's easy. You can use auto query engine. There's a solution developed by Llama Index, so it's already there. You just need to define and it will know where to or when to query your SQL versus your unstructured text oh. and have both of them queried for answering a user question. This is so cool. I love it. Let's give it a try. Stop it. Hmm? Sure. Let's go. Before we start, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell icon so you will get notified for the next video. Thank you. All right, so what we're gonna do here, let's say you have access to your data which is stored in a SQL database and you certainly want to create a RAG application that can chat with your SQL data. But for the same use case and project, you might have your data set out of SQL database. For example, you have free text data. Now the idea is how can I have a RAG use case that based on the user query, I'm able to both query my SQL database or free text data out of SQL database to answer the user question without me necessarily creating two separate racks for each scenario. So what we're gonna do, let's say as an example, I want to ask a question, tell me about the arts and culture of the city with the highest population, okay? Well, I have a SQL database here that has the information about different cities and their population. So obviously I need to do a SQL query. So here my LLM will convert my question to a SQL query and let's say it understood that Tokyo was the most populated city in my SQL database. But the question is not give me the name Tokyo. It's asking me, tell me about the arts and culture. The art and culture info is not in my tabular data. So my data is a free text data that has information about Tokyo. So at the same time, I should go to my text data. Now I have a vector database that I have embedded my data inside this vector DB to retrieve relevant information about Tokyo and give it back to LLM and answer the user question. So that's how you can see I have two paths to take to retrieve info and answer the user. One of them is using vector database, embedding text. One of them is no embedding, no vector database. It's just converting to a SQL query. So what I need to do, I need to define first of all my vector DB and connect it to my retrieval method. Also make sure I uh, give some metadata about the schema of my tables and stuff. So when LLM wants to generate a SQL query, it knows how to query my ta data or table to get the highest populated city, okay? So Llama Index, the good news is Llama Index has already wrapped this solution. So you do not need to manually create yours or do some prompting to route the query to whether to go vector DB or SQL database. And we're gonna go quickly to see how we can have that um, implemented by Llama Index. I have already created separate videos how to just chat with SQL database or how to just chat with your own text data, which you will see on the top right of the screen. But here is actually combining those two in a wrapped solution by Llama Index. So let me go through the code. All right, here is my notebook. By the way, if you wanna check this code, I will add the link of this code to the Discord channel. It is under video in the description part here. So click on Discord channel, go to the reference section of Discord channel. You will see the link of this code that I'm executing from Llama Index. So for installing packages I need, obviously Llama Index is the one that I need. OpenAI because I wanna use GPT-4 as my LLM engine. I wanna use Wikipedia to create a SQL table about uh, cities and then some free text about those cities. That's why I need Wikipedia, but this is just an example. And Pinecone, this is my vector database for this demo, but yours can be anything else. So it's not that really must to have. So I have already executed this to save the time for the video. And obviously for connecting to OpenAI, you need to add key. So I ran this code and then I remove my credential after. And Lomitics by itself definitely need to get installed. 
so I successfully done so this part if you see in the demo this is just for when you run it in your Jupyter notebook for having nested event loop activated to showcase the results of the query but nothing fancy here if it's not running in Jupyter notebook you can ignore this part all right, so here I am connecting to Pinecone. Python is, again, a vector database, an example of vector database, which you need to have your own key there. So I added mine, and I removed after I executed this code. And I'm just simply creating an index, an empty index, under what cloud provider, under what region, what is the, the function to calculate similarity. I, let's say I'm using Euclidean distance. What is the dimension of your vector embedding, and what is your index name, quick start? So I have already created that here, and I'm connecting to this index, which is empty for now, and I call it Pinecone index. So I'm going to push the Wikipedia series information as my embeddings inside this vector database inside this index. So obviously, I need to define my vector index and to push this what we have defined so far. And here, for communicating with that vector store index, I am creating this object, and as you can see, Pinecone is already integrated with Llama index. That's why I already understand how to talk with Pinecone without me necessarily re redefining that again. We need to have, of course, a SQL database for this demo. I don't have any, so that's why in this demo it is creating a SQL data, uh, SQLite table inside the memory of place I'm running this code. And it's just simply have some information about cities and their population. So here I am executing some code to generate some fake data. You can see, for example, Toronto, here's a population. The country is Canada, Tokyo, Japan, Berlin, Germany, with the population number. And that's all. So now I am connected to my SQL database. Now we have that part. Let me go back to the chart. So we have already created this sort of SQL database and SQL table. Now I want to connect, create this push the embeddings of Wikipedia city information to my vector DB. And that's why I have installed Wikipedia. And we are saying that get this information from Wikipedia for these cities. And then we are defining our SQL query engine, which is the city table that we talked on the top. And then for the city's information we downloaded from Wikipedia, we are pushing that here to our vector DB. So it's three cities, that's why three absurded vectors are added to my pinecone. Now the index of my pinecone is not empty anymore. It has information about cities. So in order to define for llama index, I have two sources of data to query and answer user question. I need to define that auto vector query engine that we talked about. So obviously the first one is we need to make sure that we give some information about what is this vector store about. That's going to be needed. And this is the tricky part vector auto retriever this this auto guy will decide for where we need to fetch the data from so it's imported from llama index this is the main part of this demo and for query uh, our auto retriever or answering the user question we need to have a large language model engine and here i have chosen gpt4 okay so we have two tools to be added to this auto vector we have a SQL query engine. So if user ask a question about cities and stuff that needs a table, the LLM will understand, oh, this is what I have to query based on this definition. Or no, when I have on to, um, sorry, this is just for the city population and stuff, but I want to have information about different cities, I have this vector tool that connects to Pinecone we define on the top. And that's it. The SQL auto vector query engine is imported. This guy will understand that I have two tools or sources to query with GPT-4. Now this is the time that I asked this question. I said that, tell me about the arts and culture of the city with the highest population. This is what talked about, right? So obviously, you need to understand first, what is the highest population city? So I understood that, okay, I have to query the SQL. And it generated a SQL query. It passed it, and it realized that Tokyo has the highest population based on our table. And then from Wikipedia, which is the second vector tool that we have going to Pinecone and gener grabbing our embeddings, it tells me some information about Tokyo, and the reference is Wikipedia. But if I just simply ask, tell me about the history of Berlin, it understands that, okay, I don't need um, SQL query because the city is there. I just to go to Wikipedia information, which is now in my Pinecone embeddings. This is what it did. You can see there is no SQL query. The same thing here, we can give me the country corresponding to each city. This is coming from just SQL table. I don't need to query my vector database. And obviously, it just grabbed the answer from SQL query, and I'm done.
so what we just captured was we can easily define routing a routing solution for going both to SQL tabular data and unstructured free text data or vector DB for answering a query and let it decide by itself which one it need to query one of them or even both of them to answer the question whatever we use here the large language model type the vector DB type even lama index by itself it's not a must to use all of them the purpose was just demonstrating the art of possibility here you can even define it by yourself if you don't want to go with llama index or go with your own vector db or go with your sql database that can be on prem or cloud let's say on azure so i hope at least you got the idea because i have seen this request a lot that people have not just sql not just unstructured they have both type of data and they want to have a rag use case on it and i hope now you have a much easier path and much more clear vision of what is needed to be implemented and check out this llama index resource you might see it is already good enough to modify that and implement it for your use case and i hope you enjoyed this video that's all the first call from the class of natural sciences might turn you into an atheist but at the bottom of that glass god is waiting for you Dream big, my friends. Believe in yourself and take action. Till next video.